A leaked corporate document have unveiled that Shei Tinubu, the son of President Bola Tinubu, co-owned an offshore company with Roland Shaguri, the son of Bilonia Teko Roland Shaguri. This company incorporated eight years ago in the British Virgin Highlands. They has come under screening following the awarding of a $13 billion contract to build a 700-kilometer Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway to High Tech Construction Company Limited. Hmm. Nigeria is finished too. Nigeria is finished. A subsidiary of the Shaguri Groups, the contracts. Okay, the contract for the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, a project of imminent national significance, was awarded without a public bidding process, raising eyebrows and sparking allegations of favorizing and corruption in Nigeria. The young Tinubu is also a director on the board of CTK Integrated Industries, another subsidiary of the Shaguri company uh, group. Critics argued that the long-standing business and personal relationship between the Tinubu and Shaguri families have unduly influenced by awarding of the contracts. Minister of Works David Humai, however, has defended the process, stating that it followed due procedure and that the matter is currently before the court. The leaked document, part of a, a larger investigation by the International uh, Consum uh, International Consum of Investigative Journalists, revealed that Sheyi Tinubu was a majority sh shareholder in the offshore company alongside Ronald Shoguri Jr., the British Virgin Highlands, known for his corporate uh, anonymity, provided a veil of secrecy over their business dealings until now. The current ownership status of the company remains unclear, as neither party has responded to requests for comment in 2000. Grivat Shaguri was convicted in Switzerland for laundering money on behalf of Nigeria's former military dictator, Sani Abacha. The relationship between Tinubu and Shaguri family is not new. Shaguri brothers Roland and, and, and Glibat have long been associated with President Bola Tinubu with their businesses' empire, benefiting from various government contracts over the years. While flogging off the controversial coastal highway in May, the president applauded the Shaguri brothers for being worthy stakeholders and for believing in the future of Nigeria. The, later, the latest revelation had to a series of controversies surrounding Tinubu's administration, which has been criticized for its handling of economic policies, including the removal of fuel subsidies and the rising cost of living. President Tinubu's son in controversies, Shei Tinubu's business ventures have consistently drawn attention not only for their success, but also for their timing and the network. The networks they involved is advertising company, the, the, the Lost Start Pro, Promo Media has become a dominant player in Nigerians' outdoor advertising industry with allegations that its rise was facilitated by his father's political plot. In February 2021, the People's Gazette published bank accounts highlighting Shei Tinubu's exploits in Lagos advertising markets alongside his father's ex aide Ton Sports Minister, Sunday Diary Business Day, had earlier reported how tongues weighed on social media over Shei Tinubu's acquisition of a luxury timepiece, a 
a Richard Mille, a Richard Mill RM055 watch, a wristwatch worth 550 uh 550 million dollars or about 825 million at 1500 a dollar pictures from his social handles showed that the young tunubu owns not less than three uh, richard mini wristwatch amounting to billions of naira the watch was part of the custom series on silk in the name of professional uh, Gofla and Masters Giant Bubara Wesson, Nigeria Afrobeat star. Okay. Uh, Nigerians, you've all heard it now. We don't know where we are heading to right now because the government is gradually turning to a family business. Uh, now, I, I can now understand the reason why Atiku Abubakar said that Tinubu is transforming uh, Nigeria into government of Tinubu by Tinubu for Tinubu. Hey, that is what Atiku Abubakar said. With what is going on currently in Nigeria, Tinubu is gradually turning Nigeria to what uh, exactly what it did uh, in Lagos State. This is really scary. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.